Welcome to Footballology. So if this is your first time on the YouTube channel, I appreciate you guys clicking on the video and checking it out. I just want to give people the opportunity to love the NFL and love football itself as much as I have come to love it. When I was younger, I didn't care for the game. I didn't want anything to do with football itself. And so the more I actually start to understand it and the more I actually start to learn more about football and the NFL itself, the more I fell in love with it. And now I can't get enough of it. So if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them in the comment section below. I'm here to answer them. I know other footballologists are going to answer your questions as well. So don't be afraid. There's no stupid questions. So I just want to give you guys the opportunity to actually understand the game as much as I have. Without further ado, let's get into this one. So the way I want to do these videos is I want to break them down in position groups, starting with the quarterback. Now, the quarterback is the most important position on the field at all times. And any level of sports or any level of football, sorry, he's the most important position because he needs to understand what's going on both on his team and the opposing team as well. So if he's not on his game on any given day, he can definitely hurt his team and set his team back from being the most successful team. It can be that day. So think of the quarterback position as being the leading actor in your favorite movie. If you look at your favorite movie out there and think about the actor in that movie and how well that actor, him or she, did in that movie and how they carried that movie along and just really based off their performance is the way that movie went. You know, you think about people winning, you know, winning awards for being the leading actor and the leading you know, star and this and things like that. That's what the quarterback is. And then when it comes down to the leading actor, he has to understand what his co-stars are doing. He has to understand what the director wants. And then he also has to understand what's going on with like lighting and the set and the sound and everything else. He has to feed the camera because if he doesn't feed the camera, the movie just won't leave up to the hype. So just like the leading actor in your favorite movie, that he needs to understand what the director is asking of him at all times. With the NFL quarterback, or with the quarterback in general, with the quarterback position, he needs to understand what his head coach is asking of him all times. And not only does he have to understand that, he has to relay that same message to his wide receivers, to his running backs, and to his tight ends, and the offensive line at that. So he's always gotten to know, he always has to know what everyone is doing at all times. He has to understand what the defense is doing at all times. He has to be on the same page with everybody because if he's not, if he makes one miscue, then it can mess up the whole entire play, just like an actor can mess up the whole entire movie with one miscue. So I don't know if you guys have ever done your research and looked at some of the big time actors and some of the money they get paid for leading roles and some of the movies they've done. They get paid a lot of money and buku money. So like for me personally, my favorite actor is Jason Statham, especially if I'm watching an action movie. If I know he's going to be in that movie, I'm more likely to go watch it. And on top of that, I'm more likely to enjoy it because I just know who he is and what he's going to bring to the table as far as carrying the movie, as far as letting the action kind of feed out to the camera or bleed out through the camera into the living room or wherever I'm at into the movie theater jason statham is just one of my favorite leading actors as far as action movies go so me being one of those fans i don't like to see quarterbacks get paid the way they do but when you really start to break down a position at its details or like its finest details the quarterback has to understand everything on a mental level and execute it but then at the same time physically he has to be able to execute so many more things so you understand sometimes why quarterbacks get paid the way they do just like the leading actor gets paid a lot of money a lot of money to carry that movie to the smash box office hit the quarterback isn't getting paid all that money to carry his team to victory every sunday and hopefully get to the biggest game or the biggest stage of that game and so like if you can execute as a quarterback you deserve that kind of money because of what it takes and everything that's entailed it just really sucks to watch people get paid that kind of money so that's all i have for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there's anything else you want me to say or just any more further detail you want to hear from me i try to come up with an analogy that i feel like could work on anybody or just work you know for anybody out there kids boys girls anybody and so if you guys have any other questions that i didn't answer in this video let me know in the comment section below i will answer any of your questions at any given time and just let me know if you want me to come up with a different analogy that maybe will be more helpful for you i would be more than willing to come out with a video like that and then also make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel become a footballologist today hit the bell because i got some other videos coming out about other positions and things like that with the same exact analogy so definitely you don't want to, you don't want to miss that and make sure you guys stay safe